Hello everyone, I hope that you are having an excellent day. I am going to be talking uh, about sleep in today's video because sleep is something that is so critical for our health and a lot of people are not getting the required amount of sleep that they should be getting. So, um, you know, this is a lot of factors because of our overstressed lifestyles and um, just not having enough time or not making enough time for such an important part of our lives and you know it's time to change that so if you need a sign to change that here's your sign so the first thing I want to say is limit blue light exposures so blue light is anything from LED light bulbs to your screen on your cell phone to your TV and these things are really high in blue light which triggers your brain to produce less melatonin. So when you are producing less melatonin, your brain is going to be more alert and more awake. So this is going to disrupt your circadian rhythm. So shutting off any kind of screens at least an hour before bed, take it, replacing the LED light bulbs that you're using at night with incandescent because those are closer to the spectrum, the wavelength spectrum of the sun. They're more on the warmer side. So that is going to help you relax a lot easier. And if it's not possible for you to stop using your devices that or uh, long before bed, I would highly recommend either investing into some blue light blocking shades or even um, putting like one of those screen shades on your phone that has like the orange orange looking shades. So those are really helpful and that helps your body relax a lot easier before bedtime. The second thing is also related to lighting and that would be sunlight first thing in the morning. So when you get up, uh, go ahead and the first thing that you do instead of grabbing your phone, you wanna go outside and spend at least five minutes out in natural sunlight because this is going to help balance your hormones and help balance your circadian rhythm as well because your body is going to say like, hey, listen, here's the sun. Like now it's time for me to get up and this is going to help you naturally fall into a better sleep cycle and to help your body acclimate much better to your own circadian and rhythm and when you wake up you're gonna feel a lot more refreshed so go grab a warm beverage and stand out on your patio and just be out in the sunshine the third thing that you're gonna to want to do is have an ideal sleep environment so this means darken out your room completely you don't want to see your clock from you know the glow of your clock you don't want to see any street lights or any kind of glow in your room that's really going to disrupt your sleep. So maybe invest in some darkening shades, maybe even a face mask, and even turning that clock upside down so that way you can't see the time. Because you know if you do wake up in the middle of the night and then you flip the clock over and you look at that and you're getting that light, in your eyes that is then telling your body a mixed message that you know it's seeing light and it's associating that with now it's time to wake up so don't look at the alarm clock if you wake up um, in the middle of the night and really make sure that your sleep environment is conducive for sleep this also means having comfortable bedding having a comfortable mattress making sure that the room temperature is comfortable so somewhere around 68 to 73 degrees is where most people prefer it at and also your sleepwear so maybe sleeping in really loose fitting clothing or even naked or just an underwear and then even things like sleep aids so if you grind your teeth maybe investing in a retainer of some sort using mouth tape if you snore to help uh, keep your lips shut and to keep breathing through your nose if you have a medical condition like sleep apnea now might be the time to talk to some kind of fun functional doctor to help you address that issue a lot better and they even have these functional retainers that um, uh, that help with sleep apnea I don't know if they're compatible with um, like braces because I know like after you have braces you have to wear a sleep retainer I definitely do and I don't know if it's compatible with that but you know if you don't have braces and you have sleep apnea definitely go check that out because I know that can help people rather than the big you know machine that you have to put on your face and lastly earplugs for the sleep environment so this is something that I utilize as well I feel like earplugs are super helpful because they really help block out the noises that are going on around you even subtle things um, like footsteps uh, could wake me up so the, the earplugs really help and also maybe even like uh, an ionizer or some kind of white noise machine to block out any external sounds that you might hear 
Having a good solid bedtime routine is also going to be something that is going to help tremendously. So maybe this looks like having a relaxing wind down routine of doing some kind of self care activity, maybe um, like taking a bubble bath or journaling and doing your skincare routine, something without the phone, something without um, reading anything upsetting, like no newspapers, like nothing like that. I feel like that could definitely impact your sleep. So uh, routines, routines are super important. So make sure that you have some kind of wind down routine, something that really makes you feel at ease and comfortable and just overall calm. Nutrition also plays a big role in your sleep. So if you're having a really poor diet and uh, you're eating a lot of sugar and a lot of junk food, this is not gonna help with your sleep, especially your blood sugar. You're gonna wanna make sure that your blood sugar is pretty stable. So even having a small bedtime snack before you go to sleep, so that looks like maybe like 150 calories of maybe some cheese and a piece of fruit and um, that'll help keep your blood sugar stable until you wake up in the morning. So definitely give that a shot and uh, see how you feel. And also no caffeine before uh, after 2 p.m. So that can really help too. And then just some general lifestyle tips would be like making sure that you're getting movement. So a lot of us sit behind a desk throughout our day and we're getting in our cars and driving home and you know this is really not good for us because we need to be moving and exerting ourselves so getting some kind of exercise every single day or some kind of movement is really going to be beneficial for your sleep and just your overall health as well so making sure that you're not exercising too close to bedtime too because that can increase your cortisol so at least like two or three hours before bed would be ideal and just really getting your heart pumping using your bedroom only for sleep and sex. So I know that this looks different for everyone. Everyone's living situations are different and this can be hard for people who are like living in studios and stuff. But if you don't live in a studio, definitely utilize this because um, when you are using your bedroom for other activities, like say that you are doing your work in your bedroom or you are studying in your bed, then it's really easy for your brain to associate those behaviors of doing with your bed rather than I'm only in here to sleep or I'm only in here to make love with my partner. So, you know, really doing these things and sticking with them, you're gonna see noticeable results because, you know, sleep is something that's really important and also magnesium supplementation. I talk about this a lot. This is another excellent thing that magnesium is great for, is for your sleep. So yes, sleep is important. Make sure that you are prioritizing it and make sure that you are getting enough high quality sleep. And if you don't notice results right away, just stick with it because the more you set these routines, the better habits you are going to create for long lasting results. So that's really it. That's all I have for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that you have found these tips helpful. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and leave a like because it really helps my channel a lot. And if you enjoy videos like these, definitely hit that subscribe button because I make new videos every single week and I would love to have you be a part of this community. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the video next week. Sorry, there's a wasp. <laughs> I hate wasp. Okay, so anyways, um, oh my God, he's coming towards me. Oh shoot, oh no, oh God.